Well, now, where are you on things like GMO foods? Because, you know, you Bring see... Bring them on. I mean, <laughs> one, I and you eat them all the time in America. But I see stickers on things now. No GMO. And our French cousins are on the warpath to eliminate genetic modification. Oh, uh, they're losing. And you're a conservationist, and yeah. yet you're, you believe quite... Um, well, I'm a conservationist. Enthusiastically. That see... It's why I'm an ex-environmentalist, <laughs> but a stronger-than-ever conservationist. Uh, you have to sharpen that distinction for us. Well, I was trained as a scientist, as a biologist at Stanford back in the 50s. And biotech was just beginning to come in at that point. And we all saw that it, this was um, the fundamentals of life were finally going to be understood. And not only understood, but be able to use to diagnose and then treat conditions in the real living world, not only for humans with medicine, but for, as we're increasingly realizing, with whole ecosystems in terms of being able to adjust some of these things that invasive species cause and so on. So as a biologist, I was always figuring, like, you know, GMOs, sure, of course, it's better. Agriculture is good for the natural world because it makes it more productive, which means it uses less of the wildlands and more of the wildlands come back. And so it, it's like urbanization in the sense that Remember, it used to be that environmentalists were against cities. And they sort of caught on that actually cities are great because they intensify right. where humans are. And right. But all over the world, there's now a lot of abandoned farmland, which is instantly, especially in the tropics, going back to basically forested wilderness. Is that right? All over you, the world. Because the headline seems to be cutting down mm -hmm. forests because some subsidence farmer wants to you know, have his own land. One study that came out of the United Nations said 50 times more trees are growing back as second growth than are being cut down as, as Whoa, that is really growth. surprising. And that probably is too high a number, but that it's any multiple means that there's now more trees coming on. Why is farmland being abandoned? Because people can make their livelihood in a city? Growing yeah. up as a kid on a farm, the first things you learn, and you, there's a lot of really important, wonderful things you learn, but one of the things you really learn is that farming is extremely hard work mm -hmm. and it's extremely boring and uh, it is not very well paid. And so the kids of farmers all over the world, including the U.S., say, I'm out of here, Dad, I'm going to town. And this is a global, global phenomenon, phenomenon, not just a U.S. Yeah. advanced civilization. And what had been marginal land anyway goes immediately back to forest. Wow. And, with, and then the wildlife comes in and, and they're not cutting, the, they're not killing the wildlife for bushmeat anymore. They're not cutting down the trees for firewood. And so you've got- It's rescue. staggering. It's On a, a really massive scale yeah. worldwide. 